one of the strategies we want to be sure to use is reading aloud interactively. And doing this can be a fine balance because we don't want to stop too often that we um, mess with the flow of the story and the comprehension, but just enough to ensure that we're, there's a little back and forth um, between the children in our group and the text that we're reading. Um, one of the first things we want to do um, that we can consider is thinking about the illustrations. And when we're thinking about the illustrations or the pictures in nonfiction, we want to draw attention to choices that either the photographer or the illustrator um, chose when they, um, when they made this illustration. You might ask about why um, the water is splashing all over the page, or you might even um, tune in uh, the participants into how the character might be feeling and ask questions like, how is this character feeling right now? And what do you think the seagulls might, um, how might they be interacting with this experience? So finding different ways just to draw their attention in and noticing different um, details that will help them think about or make predictions or ask themselves questions about the character. Another thing to think about is clarifying meaning, um, and this may happen in many ways, but one way is to think about the vocabulary in the text. Um, for example, there's a sentence in this book right here that says, um, that has the word perked in it. Um, that may be a, a word that um, your participants aren't very familiar with. Um, you want to make sure that you draw attention to those words and not too many again, just a few of those throughout the book, especially if it has, um, it's really important for the meaning of what you're reading. Um, so you might read the sentence again. Um, Next, four girls danced on stage. Marcus perked up his ears. He wagged his tail. You might start by asking the participants what they think that word means. Sometimes acting out the work, word can be very helpful. You may say, is this perked? Is this perked? And have the children do those um, mo movements with you. Um, another thing to think about um, with vocabulary is asking the children to try to use that word in context as well.